hi guys and welcome back to my channel so in today's video I am going to be sharing with you guys my current uh, liquid lipsticks that I have in my collection start with the ones that I'm currently working on trying to pan that are in my current panning project and ones that are older in my collection and I'm trying to use I'm trying to use up the best that I can um, I have so many that it's not going as well as I want it to. Before we get started, yes, I'm wearing the same shirt. Third video. Um, it doesn't bother me. I hope it doesn't bother you. So, yeah, we're just going to go ahead and finish. So, uh, the first one is the Ciate Liquid Velvet. This is in the color Diva. It is just a really pretty bright red right there. Um, this is one of my older ones in my collection that I'm trying to use up. Okay, um, still finishing off with the oldest ones in my collection, which are in my hand here. Two are by Revlon. These are the Revlon Matte uh, Ultra HD Matte Lip Colors. Um, one is in the color Bazers and one is in the color Eternite. This is a mauve pink color, really pretty. These are okay. I don't care for the formula too much. They're not drying or anything. They just don't last on the lips and they really don't ever dry down. That is that one, more of a nudie brown. And then the last two I'm trying to finish up is ColourPop Lion King and this one is starting to smell not good. So I'm trying to use up as much more as I can before I have to toss it. And this is an old, old one. Um, this is in the old packaging, the Stila Stay All Day Liquid Lipstick in Patina. This one I am trying to use up. I absolutely love their formula. I love the color, the smell of them. I do have this. Um, and in the um, newer packaging, I believe, in a smaller size. So yeah, I'm trying to finish that up. This is a smaller one in Patina. This is the newer packaging. I do carry this in my purse so that I can use it up. It looks the same as that one you just saw. One of my favorites. And then I have this NARS. I think this was a gift in Bound. And this is a velvet lip glide, so it doesn't stay on super long, but the formula is really, really nice. It's like a mauve purple. I do like that as well. This one from Julep, I'm <coughs> sorry. Um, this is the Ultimate, Ultimate Mauve. I think I got this in gratis when I worked at Ulta. That is what it looks like right there. I'll try to swatch as much as I can. I love swatching for you guys. Estee Lauder, this was also a gratis I received. Um, Burnt Raisin, I love this Estee Lauder one. I would have never thought to try these if I didn't get this in gratis. The formula is so nice. They stay so long on the lips. I love it right there and then that was the other one I'm not really good when it comes to swatching which you guys are aware I have the Smashbox I think I got this um, Mauve Wife I got this um, at probably Marshalls or TJ Maxx I love Smashbox's formula as well looks like that And then I have these two Make It Forever ones, um, Liquid Matte number 109 and 105. These are very old in my collection. I actually need to pull those so I can put those on the use up list or pile. <coughs> I love the formula. They're right here. Very, very nice. Okay, and this would also be a declutter. I'm going to consider decluttering as well. I did already declutter some that I did before, like I said, um, but there will be possible declutters in this. Um, 
These are all my bigger Anastasia lipsticks right here. Liquid lipsticks. Um, I absolutely love these. I have this one in craft. Looks like that. I'm not going to swatch it because it will take a very long time. Bohemian. It's a little bit deeper. I think I got this in a boxy charm. Um, that one, Madison, bright, kind of purple. This is, this reminds me of Patina. This is Catnip. Right there. And then we have Ashton, which is a very nudie brown. And keeping that trend, I will show you the three that I have in the small sizes. I think I have almost the same. Oh, B Hudson, Dazed, and Bittersweet. And that is what those look like. So the first one to the left here is Hudson, Dazed, and then Bittersweet right there. So yeah, those are, I love Anastasia Liquid Lips if you're not aware. They're one of my absolute favorites. And then I have this Dose of Colors and Flirty. I'm showing you this one because you can't see through the glass. I think I got this in a boxy charm. And that is what that looks like right there. Okay. Lip Varnish Supreme. And I think the color Supreme. That is what it looks like. Right there, that color on the bottom. I have this TARDIS lip paint. I believe I got this in a uh, gratis home slice. Looks like that. I do like these Tarte lip paints. Um, they have a very unique formula, but they're really, really nice. Um, this is the Lime Crime Plushies and Butterscotch packaging is very very cute looks like that I have the Too Faced melted matte liquefied longwear lipstick this is in lady balls I really hate the name to be honest um, it's just a really pretty pretty red I don't like the name at all um, it's just me two um, liquid matte lipsticks from Bare Minerals in the full sizes. One is in Swank and the other is Fire. That is what those look like. I do love their formula. They're really, really good. Very long lasting. I'm so excited that I'm almost getting all of this stuff filmed for you guys because then we can show you how I store everything. The smaller Bare Minerals swag. <coughs> That is what that one looks like right there. Very pretty mauve color. The first one we have is Pixie by Petra. This is Pastel Petal. This is newer to my collection. Um, the formula so far I do like. Looks like that right there. And I apologize, I'm not swatching every single one, guys. This is Physician's Formula, the Healthy Lip and Coral Minerals. It's very pretty. Love the packaging. Keep definitely keeping that one. Um, this is the Lottie London Stay All Day Matte Liquid Lipstick. Um, this is a really pretty color. I wouldn't say it's very pigmented. Um, it's in the color Work It. It looks like that. And this is what it looks like. Um, this one I'm going to declutter and pass on. I never pull for it. I don't feel like it stays long on the lips. I don't feel like it really does a whole lot. So, And I don't find myself gravitating towards it. So I am going to be passing that one along. I have uh, these which I've showed you guys before. This is from the brand Beauty Involved Liquid Lipstick. This is from Ross. I paid, I think, $6.99 or $7.99 for this. A set of five. And this is what they look like. Just your nudie pinks. Um, 
and I've been trying these out and I showed, shared with you guys an update <coughs> in that video and I love these. Definitely keeping all of those. Do I need them? No, but uh, were they worth the price tag? Yes. The formula is not overly drying. They just sit comfortably on the lips. They last all day. They do come off a little bit when you eat or drink, but nothing bad. Um, I just absolutely love, love, love the formula. And like I told you guys before, it reminds me a lot of the Smashbox Legendary Liquid Lipsticks formula. They don't necessarily dry down completely, but they do stay on the lips really nice. The pigmentation's there. They're not drying. They're just creamy. I love them. So if you find them at Ross, definitely check them out. Again, it's called Beauty Involved. And then I have this cream shop. This is in Desert Retreat. This one I do really like. Um, it was given to me. It's like a nudie pink. I will be keeping that one. I enjoy that one. Three from Maybelline. Um, these are the Maybelline Superstay Matte Inks. I have one in 15 Lover. Uh, 20 Pioneer. And then I have 65 Seductress. Okay, so this is Lover and... Seductress, so you can kind of see the difference in the colors there. Very, very nice. I think these are great drugstore liquid lips. They stay all day. They don't budge. They don't move. Um, so, yeah, I would definitely check those out. And then this is Pioneer. Packaging is very, very cute. It's like a red tone keeping that one as well i have two from models own these i've had in my collection for some time they're absolutely beautiful i love the formula i paid less than a dollar for these we'll be keeping these that is what they look like uh, ulta does not carry models own any longer but when they were discontinuing um carrying it at the store they went 90 percent off so like i said i paid less than a dollar for these one is naked and then a raspberry mojito. So the bottom is raspberry mojito. That's naked. Definitely keeping those. I'm not passing those up. They are getting, they're older in my collection, so I need to pull them more for sure. But I'm not going to get rid of those. Two from Flower Beauty. This is Scarlet Letter and Nude Blush. It's a red one. I love the formula as well. I know I say that on all of them. This is Petal Poison from uh, Wet n Wild Liquid Cat Suit. Uh, when they did that rose collection, I do love the color. I am still trying to find out about Wet n Wild being not being cruelty free. Um, so this one I may be decluttering. It's a beautiful color, but I don't want to keep that for that reason. I have three from Elf. This is from the Modern Meadows collection. This is... Uh, the liquid matte lipstick, it does not say a color on here. And then I have the uh, Praline and then Berry Sobe, which is very similar to that one from Models Own. This is what those look like. I am going to keep these in my collection for now. The e.l.f. are sometimes drying, so I have to make sure to moisturize really, really well when I do wear those. Um, that one because they, they are very um, pigmented and everything, but they can be very, very drying on my lips. This is from NYX. It's the Soft Matte Lip Cream and the Soft Matte, matte Metallic Lip Cream. Uh, it's in California and California. What those look like, I got this in a recent Walmart box. Um, I did try to swatch them. The matte lipstick is very nice. Um, I don't know so much about the metallic. I'm not really into metallic, so I'm probably going to be passing the metallic one on. And I may be passing them both on, honestly, because I don't necessarily need them. This is a metallic, and that's the original. The original is really pretty, but <coughs> they are newer. I don't necessarily need these, so I'm going to pass those along to someone. I know I did swatch them. I have a friend that does not mind that I swatch it or use it, and she will use it. Um, so, yeah, I'm going to pass those on to her. 
And I'm just looking over again to see if there's any others that I want to pass along. I don't see any. Yeah, so that's everything I currently have in my collection. So I did declutter. Like I said, I did a declutter before. Um, and so uh, that's why I don't have as many. But I am going to declutter these four here. That's the Wet n Wild um, Liquid High Shine right there. Um, and then the new matte ones that I got from NYX in a current box, a Walmart box. And the Lottie London Slay All Day and Work It. I'm going to declutter those. So four, not too bad. I probably could declutter more. But for now, like I said, that is what I'm going to pass along. Um, I do thank you guys so much for watching. I hope that you enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. I hope that you're enjoying my collection series. I'm almost complete in showing you everything that I currently have in my collection. And we'll be having that video of how I set up everything coming very soon. Uh, don't forget to stay safe. Care of yourselves. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye, guys.